Australian honeybees are in danger. In fact, almost all of the honeybees living in the wild are going to die because of varroa mites that have recently become established in Australia. Oh, oh a little bit of a comet going. Two. Yeah. Three. Three. So far, they're just found in New South Wales, but soon they'll be all over if we are to follow the example of other countries. We can help the bees help themselves by participating in a study to capture their genetic diversity and understanding how some wild populations may become resistant in the future. This is going to require lots of us coming together to sample honeybees and to understand the role that they play in the ecosystem. All right, ready? Balloon away. What we have found elsewhere in the world is some feral honeybee populations are naturally resistant to varroa and they will survive and they will be able to become the stock from which other honeybee populations that we can use for apiculture could be bred. So we want to identify what genes have changed from before varroa to after varroa. And the only way to do this is to collect bees before the mortality begins. And this is where we come in. We can go and sample bees the way they are today, follow their decline and recovery after varroa, and use that time series pattern to identify what genetic changes actually took place. We can see evolution in action. Now to do that, all we need is a clear summer afternoon, a little bit of helium, a balloon, some fishing line, and a butterfly net. And we will take advantage of the bees' reproductive biology to help collect them. The way bees reproduce is queens fly out and they mate on the wing with up to two dozen drones or more. Now the drones are male honeybees and they go to sites called drone congregation areas. Very often this is your local oval. And although you do not know it, there are hundreds of drones flying about 10 or 20 meters above you out in the sky. So the key piece of equipment is this balloon filled with helium. And onto it, we attach a little bit of pheromone bait. It doesn't smell like anything to us, but the honeybees can smell it from far away and it smells like queens. So the males are going to be attracted to the pheromone and our goal is going to be to get a comet of males, lower them close enough to the ground, and then net them with a butterfly net. And if you've gone to a proper drone congregation area, in their good conditions, you will see dozens, perhaps hundreds of drones hovering across your bait. You might wonder, is this dangerous? Will I be stung a lot? Well, the truth is, I'm putting my hand inside and I'm grabbing one of these bees. Because, as I mentioned, these are male honeybees. They have no stinger. Their sole function is looking for queens and they do not defend the colony, so they cannot sting you. They are completely harmless. Yeah, see, they love the smell. Now, of course, the tricky part is, we're talking about a, an event that's taking place all over Australia. And no single person or organization is capable of collecting bees on that scale over the course of years. The only way we can do this is by working together and by everybody contributing to this study. From these drones, we can get copies of their genomes. We can determine what kind of diseases they might be carrying. So honeybee viruses that are often spread by varroa and actually kill the colonies. And we can even capture varroa mites for later genetic analysis. So all of this can be done kind of in one study site. And over the course of three, four, five years, that will give us a complete picture of what is happening with honeybee genetics and how they have changed. See, now there's a bunch. We have a unique opportunity to watch evolution in action and to help save the bees. It's an opportunity to get involved in science and to make a real difference. So get out, check to see where your local drone congregation areas are. I promise you, you will not look at the world around you in the same way. You will always be thinking where there is bees and what else might be happening right above you without you knowing. <laughs>